Today, Fusion 6, what do you know? <laughs> it's our theme right now. We got a, we're in a spiritual war, right? So it's important when, uh, when you're in a war to make sure you got on the right armor and understand its uh, purpose. But here, instead of just the armor, we see, instead of something for like just defense, we see a piece of the, of the uniform or our armor, I can't think of the word, that would be for us to be on the offense and actually attack. So let's look at this. Uh, it says, you know, we read, take the helmet of salvation, but then, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And I'll just keep going. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And it's, you know, I think it's important that this last piece of armor here is is the sword it's 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 how we not only defend ourselves but how we can get on the offense and actually after we have defended ourselves come and attack you know what i mean so you know because we don't want to just be hiding behind our armor and always on the defense you know sometimes after the enemy throws his blows we got to go in for our kill right so we don't want to just be getting having the enemy throwing things at us and we don't have any countermeasure against him. So here we see that after we have done all we could to stand and, and defend ourselves, then we can take and go on the offense and and not just defend ourselves, but actually, you know, take back and, and take gain ground against the enemy and and injure them and and keep them away from us so the word of god you know you you must know the word in order to take up this weapon you know if you don't know god's word you're not going to be able to get on the offense you know you're not going to be able to take hold of god's promises and and meditate on those and and bring those to mind to counter the enemy's um, devices and, and, and lies, you know, if you don't know the truth, you know, God's word and his promises, you won't be able to bring that up to counter whatever's coming your way. But beyond that, you know, that's just on a personal level, but beyond that, you know, it, that's in, you know, in your mind beyond that, you know, prayer, you know, get down praying in the spirit, praying, according to God's word, according to his will, and going against the enemy, you know, and praying in the spirit, it doesn't mean you have to be speaking in tongues, you know, it just needs to be a spirit led prayer. Like I've been, I've been led to pray in the spirit where I've just been, um, filled with the spirit and, and pronouncing um, just God's word and, and, and his word to me and word going through me. And it's more the authority than it is even having to be exactly a word out of the scripture. You know what I mean? It, it, it could be, you know, just the power of the spirit working in you to pronounce authority over a situation and, and pronounce something in faith. Um, so but it doesn't have to be a prayer in tongues, you know, and, and I know there is prayer in tongues and, you know, and that might be, if that's your gift, um, great, you know, but not everybody has the gift of tongues. It says the spirit gives out the gifts severally, you know, to every person as he wills and not everybody has the gift of tongues and that's okay. So, um, I, just received the gift of tongues like a year and a half ago because I I actually 
that's a long story that I don't have time to go into, but I, and I still, it's, it's, it's an awkward thing for me. I'll just be honest because, you know, just the way I was raised and, and I, but the Lord was showing me, no, it's a real gift. And he gave it to me almost just to prove to me that it was still a gift and these different things. But that's a long story. I believe in all the gifts of the Holy Spirit and I, and I believed in tongues, but it's just been so abused and, and different things that I was just kind of turned off by it. But, but I do know that it says that the Spirit gives to every person severally as they will, and not everybody has the gift of tongues. Um, but but if you pray in the Spirit, you know, if you pray according to God's will, if you just get down in prayer, praying into God's will, praying against the enemy, his tactics, praying for other people, you know, praying for their salvation, praying for their, just praying <laughs> for everyone in your life. You know, and especially be asking and sensitive to who the Lord wants you to pray pray for. You know, who needs prayer? Bring it to mind. And you can go to war, you know, get on the offense. And because the prayers of the righteous avail much, you know. So let's take up the sword, you know, knowing God's word and his promises to counter. But also just praying in the spirit, praying according to God's will, praying for other people. Amen.